you're looking at the fact that silver is probably going to go up dramatically. I mm. mean, um, that's what most people think, and it's, it's, it's certainly natural to think that. I think we're, we're first going to see a lot of implications of recession and, you know, skirting the edge of depression in the economy before we see the effect that it's going to have on the metals. Do you have any buffaloes up there? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, these got to be buffaloes. All right, so you called in a little bit earlier to sell some gold maples. Yeah, I got about 10 of them on a job that we did in New York. He paid us some gold. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, not exactly be you, huh? No, that one isn't either. All right, well, it's it's gold. Yeah, least. four nines. You're right. <laughs> so you do jobs for gold? No, just this one guy. He, he okay. wanted to go. I would rather get silver. But You would he, rather get silver? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm holding my silver as much you as I can. Do I record you? Oh, okay. Okay. So silver is your target of choice. Yeah. Yeah? All of them look like they were found on the sidewalk. That's where we found them. On the sidewalk. No. <laughs> I wish. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But, I, but I, I can't give you over spot for them. Uh, you know, if I take these mm. to the wholesaler, he's not even going to give me spot. Yeah. i got to find a customer to buy them at... You know, with the damage. Did you see how many scratches are on these things? Yeah, like I told you, I said I think the guy just no tube and just threw it in the He's just chucking, or something. Yeah, chucking gold at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, these look like you took them out of a tube and then yep. played with them for a while. And, and all ten of them are like that. <laughs> hey, really? Wow! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. It's soft gold, like mm. you said, four nines. You can't be doing that. Well, maple leaves is always. There's no alloy in them. Right. Not yeah, as much they, as... They, they pick up more scratches. That's yeah. why the buffalo is made the way it is. Yeah. It I like the buffalo. Show the and I like the, and I like the uh, oh. eagles. That relief was intentional on the buffaloes to keep scratches less noticed? Oh, yeah, you can't notice it. Yeah, exactly. You know, these are flat surfaces. They're polished surfaces, so they, you know, they, uh, they'll show the scratches really easily. Um, yeah. Why? I mean, it's not like a guy like Yankee would come in and, and, and buy those from you, all scratched up. Well, we're going to certainly ask him to see if he has any interest. Well, How long have you been stacking silver and gold? Well, I, I sell it and buy it when I need to. Okay. But, uh, so you like to you like to flip it? Well, I used, it well, I used to have four stores, so cash for golds, and then... So I did a lot of jewelry diamonds, ah, you know, okay. and I got, I got into you. coins about 2000, uh, 1999, mm -hmm. and um, started learning, made my mistakes, you know, that's how it goes. do, we all do. Yeah, um, I'm actually recording this right now, do you mind? No, that's fine. Okay. What, uh, what's your first name? Uh, Jeff. Jeff from California? <laughs> I started doing this about maybe a year, year and a half ago when things were really getting unstable, as we all know. Yep. <laughs> Home prices going through the roof and whatnot. But from what I can gather is, you know, everyone's kind of turning a blind eye to everything. Um, I I have one friend, he, he kind of jumped on the bandwagon with me, and that's what, that's what we're trying to do now is just stack as much as possible. California is a unique place when, you know, housing got to be really expensive. People moved out to the valleys, okay? okay? Now the valleys are real expensive, so now you're getting closer and closer to the desert. Yep. <laughs> Interesting hey, place. Hey, huh? Is the track still there in Riverside? The, the what? I'm sorry? The racetrack. Is that still there? No. It used to be called Riverside Raceway. Yeah. No, it's, uh, they, they don't have it, they don't. They don't use it anymore. I'm sure it's like still there in a couple pieces, but it's, they, they don't they don't do nothing with it. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, that's a, that's a shame. I, I went to one race there. Oh gosh, this is back in the '70s. And, wow. Uh, and I bought a car from Dan Gurney and um, did the testing in Willow Springs. I don't know, hope that's still there. 
That was a great track. That was in Antelope Valley or something like that. Yeah, they, they still got their tracks up there. And that's uh, L.A. County, I believe, up by Lancaster area. Yeah. It's a great place to, to be. It's not a great place with uh, the politics, unfortunately. Politics <laughs> stink. Yeah, politics stink and everything's too expensive. Yeah. You don't have a good uh, local coin shop dealer out your way? We're just getting killed with the premiums over here. Um, last I looked from, from some other sites, they want, for the, the Eagles anyway, they wanted close to 19 to $17 over over spot, which is pretty hefty. Uh, what are you looking well, at? You're looking for maples? Silver maples? Yeah, ma- yeah maples have been, have been great, you know, to... With the with the premiums, you know, mm-hmm. um, you get a little bit more more bang for your buck on the silver end, and you know, great looking coin. Right. Yeah, I was uh, interested when I just looked it up to see that the Philharmonics and the Maple Leafs are the same price. Um, yeah, Be- again, this year the the Philharmonics were were be- behind the the Maple by two to three dollars a coin. Now they're now they're dead even. It seems like well, I keep having to change what I go after. Every time I go after something, yes, the price goes up. It does. It must be you. No, it's not, Tim. <laughs> well, stop telling people what you're going after. I can't. I have to let them know. I'm looking at rounds now, man. But you have uh, kilos. Kilos. Bro. I got lots of kilos. Is that it right here? This thing? Yeah, take it. Oh. oh, man. Look at that. Yeah, I've got about 100 kilos here. So. Wow. Oh, wow! And they're by far oh. the best price. Are, are they uh, bars or are they... Bars, yeah. Are they bars? Kilo bars. Yeah, Yankees wow. are recording them not right now, so... Those are yeah, beautiful. Probably put them in uh, one of the videos. Wow. That's not a bad price at all. No, that's a really, really good price. Yeah. And I, it's just that I... I ordered a hundred five ounce bars. I ordered a hundred ten ounce bars and a hundred kilos. The kilos came in. I'm still waiting for the five ounce and ten ounce bars. And IGRs oh, definitely they're very good because they are gold and silver, and their their products are just beautiful. Um, they they had an extruded ten ounce bar, and I think they when they first started selling this stuff they they looked browsed around the internet to see what people are buying and people were buying poured bars so now there are 10 ounce bars of poured bar and um the italian company ital preziosi whatever that's called um (laughs) i'm not even sure that's correct either um but they they now have all poured bars as well. They have um, five ounce, ten ounce, and kilos in the poured bars, all the same design. Uh, we doing such a big business and buying so much stuff every day that um, it's really concerning that we you know the deliveries are so long at some of the stuff. Do you think there's a delay just due to the global demand, or is it just the companies with the supposed backlog of COVID and people don't want to work? Good question. No, it actually is a supply and demand problem. Um, the biggest uh, damage done to the silver market was the uh, drastic increase in the price of fuel. So mines aren't doing, the, you know, they're not producing the same amount they were before, you know, this latest administration here decided to go to war with the petroleum industry. And the price of gasoline, though, really was driven down by the release of the strategic oil reserves, released in a time of peace, and we're selling it to other countries? I mean, we're, we're about to be out of it. Well, listen, I heard two analysts of this industry on Bloomberg say the same thing. They say that the price has come down because demand has disintegrated demand for gasoline that's why the prices have come down more than anything else yeah and i i I think there's what they're saying with the demand is you know people just can't afford to go out anymore you know (laughs) well you know we're we're a small state so you know we we still do the same amount of driving probably but if you know you get out to california and people aren't taking those long vacations like they used to I think we're, we're first going to see a lot of implications of recession and, you know, skirting the edge of depression in the economy before we see the effect it's going to have on the metals.
It's got to get really bad. Because, you know, if things get really bad, the people who are, <clears throat> you know, cashing in 401ks and IRAs may stop doing that. Um, or they may be putting the money into some sort of cash or some other uh, savings rather than buying precious metals. But I also think we're gonna, more and more we're going to see um, silver being used for barter, for trade. The natural feeling when you're buying gold and silver is <clears throat> to, to <clears throat> buy it as an investment. But more and more you're going to see it as a, as a currency, as, a uh, as an alternative to um, whatever the currency is in your country. Um, you're looking at the fact that silver is probably going to go up dramatically. I mm. mean, um, that's what most people think, and it's, it's, it's certainly natural to think that. Uh, the timing is something that we, none of us can predict. Because, you know, we don't, there's so many uh, details in a failing economy. <clears throat> in, in the current economy we're in is failing in so many different ways that, you know, what the trigger is going to be is not really clear. But I think the, the metals are, have, a, have a great future. But I think the regulations in the, uh, you know, for the, the NYMEX, the CME, and the COMEX, have to change regarding uh, whatever they're supposed to have in reserve, and I don't know what they're what they are what they really have in, as reserves, but they um, whatever they're supposed to have, but they're probably not meeting that. It wouldn't take much, in my mind, to expose the derivative fraud that is going on in the co well, I mean, We've discussed this a lot. You know, the biggest problem with our economy is there's way too many trillions invested in thin air. And it doesn't okay. matter <clears throat> if it's a silver contract or um, cryptos, there's way too much money invested in thin air. And you know, that's that economy grew um, there was none of it in 18, 1987 when the market crashed. There was none of it, okay? That's, um, and most investors, you know, when you start to talk, um, you know, futures and options, uh, they start to nod off. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go buy some more Exxon stock. You know, yeah. it's easy, they pay a dividend, makes sense, good company. Uh, but, you know, the, it, the hedge fund industry just mushroom all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And um, so how do you run that industry unless you're, you know, issuing paper and shorting paper? Mm -hmm. so, and I think that's, that's going to be the big problem because it, there is a, there's an end game there. Congress, for some reason, is operating against the economy. Um, they're spending so much that's unnecessary, completely unnecessary. It can only lead to collapse. And, you know, all these, this talk about central bank digital currencies is going to make the, the, uh, the need for a reserve currency completely obsolete. Absolutely. Yeah. And so when you take away the reserve currency and you get um, literally trillions of dollars flying back to this country from all over the world uh, and you're in the process of spending us into oblivion, mm -hmm. the only end result is collapse. The only result is collapse. And it is coming. I think that 2023 is going to be an interesting year, Tim. Mr. Yankee, if I may, may add, they're, they're, uh, they're spending money as if it's not going to matter in the next year or two. <laughs> that, that is a good point. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great talking with you. Thanks again for uh, watching my channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, likewise. I, I, I can't wait. You, you put out really good stuff, honestly. Thanks, man. Uh, it's true and accurate, so I'll definitely still be watching. All right, All right. have a good one. You said it was Jeff? Yep, Jeff. All right, Jeff, I'll, I'll put aside a dozen kilos for you. Sounds <laughs> just, good. Just let me know when you want them. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Well, dear, you guys take it easy. I'll be getting you a call, Mr. Tim. All right, thank you. Asahi? A hundred ounce, or? Yeah. What do you think? Well, usually they're good because the plant they're made in is an excellent uh, plant. Wow. I think I'm, they're out in Utah or something like that. I think they have a plant in Florida, too. Somehow you be able to, should be able to tell. A hundred ounces. I have to be careful not to drop it on there. Let me check out. You're the one that had these, uh, these 100 ounce bars, right? You mm -hmm. got a pile of them, don't you? 
quite a few. All right, that's good. What, first of all, we were talking about what you thought of the the big densities like this for bars. What do you, what, do you, what is your opinion? When I first started stacking, it was a good way to get your metal weight up and feel good about investing in bulk. Instead of 100 coins, you've got it all sitting right there. Right and they're there. cheaper. You save sure. 10% or more. Sure yeah. But my concern over time, as the system continues to fail in front of us, when you, if we see, finally see silver let go and run and go to 30 to 50 to 80 to 100, well, my concern is unloading a $10,000 bar. So... My yeah. thought is just convert them a little bit down to easier things to manage. Makes sense. Yeah. Metals are a hedge against inflation, period. If you look at metals through the last X amount of years, 20, 30 years, then you look at your dollar. And you can break this down now to just a three-year span. Look what your dollar bought three years ago, and look what your dollar buys now. Mm. But your metals, it, we're still tight. They're holding it down, but are still holding it's so gonna, it's going to break at some point. It's going to break, and when it breaks, you'll you'll never touch that profitability. You'll you'll be making hand over fist. You know when it breaks. Wow! So you're going to be selling some of this stuff, converting it, or are you just going back to fiat? Probably a, a little both. A little both. Okay. okay. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. All right, and you got some pretty stuff in here as well. What are these? Uh, scorpions, Scottsdale. Look at that. That's a pretty coin. Wow. Very nice. Is that 28 of these? Is that right? A gold? Yeah, I bought him some ugly gold. Tim would call it. Ugly. That's all we've been buying today. Yeah, it seems that way, right? You <clears throat> had some uh, ugly Canadians. Did you end up buying those? Those Canadians? One ounce Canadian coins? Where? Oh. oh. Yes, you did. Uglies. Wow. If you're interested in some ugly gold from Canada, contact Tim. The info is Cheap in the description. Cheap is an operative word there. Cheap. Okay, sorry. Check the uh, description of this video for Tim's info, and uh, maybe if you contact them soon, they'll still be here. <laughs> Do you invest in crypto? I don't do any. Nope. Nope. Not interested. Real estate. Okay. And precious metals. That's me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Another and asset that is a hard asset, and you can use it for depreciations because of the IRS's stupid loopholes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I metals. Agree. It's not yeah. worth keeping much cash in your safe. It just depreciates month to month. Turn the fake fiat dollar into a hard asset, like real estate. Give a bank their stupid 5 to 10% deposit that they're requiring, yeah, yeah. take your hard building, and let your tenants pay for it. Excellent. Yankee stacking. Yankee stacking. Oh, that guy with the, always comes in here with a camera? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, say hello to Yankee. He just walked in. <laughs> he just walked in. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm doing fine, Yankee. Turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> you want me? You want it off? It's all right. I just had a question for Tim. Uh, okay. <laughs> it, 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 big fan, Yankee. Thank you so much. You, both of you, have provided uh, such an education that's easy to understand, and you don't make me feel like an idiot because I didn't really know that much about precious metals. So. Um, Oh, thank but you. I do have a question. Been stacking for a while. Uh, have a family issue. I need to liquidate some silver, and wanted to know if you'd be interested in a couple hundred ounce bars from the Canadian Mint. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll buy them from you. That's that's no problem at all. Uh, sometimes we get people who want to sell things, and they're in you know California or something. And so it's always a, a good idea to ask how far you have to come because putting them in the mail is. Uh, very costly. So no, no, I didn't. I did. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to do that. But I just want. I just wanted to. Ma I just wanted to make sure. So yeah, I, we. I, the way it works is we get a a quote from our wholesaler as to what he's paying us, and that determines how much we we pay you you for. Okay. Well, that's what I've got to be two one hundred ounce bars Canadian. Um, 
and that just that's the beauty of precious metals it's the ability to liquidate so that is true so thank you very much and again yankee i can't i can't express how much we appreciate what you do just let tim know i'll be up in a few days and we'll see what we can do stop in any time okay thank you much thank Bye-bye. you all right tim before i go two things do you have any buffaloes up there what kind of buffaloes Gold buffaloes. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, these got to be buffaloes. <laughs> so let me get one of the gold buffaloes, and I want to ask you to open this. Oh, okay. Well, this is for you. I'll open this before the gold buffalo. Now that is one nice looking mug. Oh, no. You went and destroyed this mug. You put some guy's picture on it. <laughs> Hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah, that's, a, that's great, man. I love it. <laughs> All right, very I, nice. That I, would become my mug of choice from now on. Oh, great. Maybe every time I open the door, I should just put the gun out here. It's the LC9 okay, yeah. that has a, a lever that goes up to show you when there's one in the chamber. Okay, so the safety's not on, and the um, and there's one in the chamber. So I leave it where it is until I need it.